Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining. We're gonna go through a bunch of print ad and postcard sales that have occurred the last couple of weeks. I just pulled some because I was out for a week and uh, definitely lost some traction during that week of inactivity. However, we did muster a few pretty cool sales and I thought I would show and share those with everyone. First up is gonna be a series of print ads. You know me with the vintage print ads, my bread and butter items, definitely into postcards now as well. Something I've been doing for several years. So I wanted to show off some of those really cool sales. This first one from 1967, a Ford Mustang from 67. You can see they're sold for $27.49 plus shipping. It's a red Mustang from 67. I think that's the third model year, something like that. I think it was 64 was the first one. So needless to say, if you see an old Mustang ad from the 60s, get them up. They're worth really good money, $27.49. Next up is an advertisement for Dr. Pepper, 1958. This is a full page ad, but you can see the width is about half of what it typically is in a Life magazine. So it's like five and a half inches. I think I put the dimensions down here actually. Yeah, 14 long by five and a half wide. Dr. Pepper ad sold for $16.50 plus shipping. There's the advertisement. So don't be afraid to list those smaller ads that aren't full pages. They sell just as well as the full pages, depending on the product and the collectability of the item. Next up from 1964 and talk about uh, different size ads. These are two pages, the equivalent of a TV guide for reference. This was from a World's Fair book I picked up, 1964, New York World's Fair. Picked it up in a state sale for $5, uh, probably a year or two ago at this point and I've just been piecing out individual ads. They all keep selling. This is a two pager. So again, if you could picture basically opening up a TV guide, that's what you would see those two pages, 22 bucks on this one plus shipping. It's just from the Futurama. You can see General Motors Futurama has kind of an undersea city and a desert city. Fantastic sale there. Here's one from 1929. This is from a good housekeeping magazine. It's for bean hole baked beans uh, out of Maine or at least they're showing an image of Maine right there. Some guys cutting down a tree. Nice money on that one, 1650 plus shipping. Here's one I wanted to point out, not to rub it in anyone's face, but I did do a whatnot uh, sale auction, excuse me, a couple of months ago now where I had this specific ad mixed in with a lot of 10. I think I had it up for 10 bucks for the whole thing. And for whatever reason, that lot didn't go and I said, okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to sell this individual ad for a lot of money. And I did. I had it up for 40 bucks. I took a best offer of $30. What makes this really cool, obviously, it's Batman. You can see the year 66, which was the debut of the Batman TV series, started in the fall of 66. So this is the very first Halloween right after uh, the show was kind of brand new and super popular. And you can see they had this uh, this giveaway. If you bought a G, uh, GETV you'd be able to get a color bat mask for Halloween that year. So super cool sale, $30 on that one plus shipping. And now back to 1923, this is probably another good housekeeping. No, it's actually from McCall's, McCall's magazine, uh, Victrola models, you can see right there, three different kinds. His master's voice, of course, the legendary symbol of Victrola RCA. Uh, this one went for 1650 plus shipping. Up to 1968 here, kind of the early stages of the cassette tape. And I highlighted that in the listing, you know, tape recorder, early cassette tapes. It's just a GE tape recorder. I remember having these guys, these little tape recorders for sure with the microphone um, in the seventies anyway. So very nice one here, 1650 plus shipping. And to 1956, pretty basic looking advertisement. I think you'd agree. It's just for French's mustard. Still went for 1650, you know, classic scene, hot dogs and mustard, a little salad going. Uh, kind of an everyday product there that you wouldn't think necessarily would be collectible, but sure enough, people collect everything. And this is a perfect example, 1650 for a French's mustard ad. And to 1929 we go. This is for a vacuum cleaner called the Spixman vacuum cleaner, 1650 plus shipping. There's a blow up of the image, kind of a tinted, basically a black and white ad where they just tinted this like pinkish orange hue to it. And this magazine is Good Housekeeping back in 1929. All right, now let's head over to some postcard sales. This one, Massachusetts, the much maligned state of Massachusetts when it comes to postcards, got 15 bucks on this one. It's for a YMCA training school. There's a blow up of the image. There's the back, undivided back. So it's an oldie, nice one there. It's not a real photo, it looks like one, but it's not a real photo. 15 bucks on that one. 
And next up is a Fred Harvey aerial view of a town called, or a mountain in California, Mount Tenalpe. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but it's just kind of an aerial view of a winding road and a mountain in California. You can see the Fred Harvey designation there. And I took a best offer of $8 on that one. To Decatur, Illinois for this card, a nice image here of a trolley transfer station. Got $15 on this one. There's a blow up of the image, very nice. That's an undivided back as well. I really like this one. You got some signage in the background. You have the trolley, you have the people moving around, some old buildings. Beautiful, $15 for that postcard. Wildwood, New Jersey for a chrome card, 12 bucks, bicentennial. So, you know, relatively recent, especially in the postcard dealing world, something I would remember. Uh, for the Surfside restaurant, multi-view, you have the bicentennial kind of insignia there with the flags, an outdoor view with some cars. Altogether, it sold for $12. Upstate New York to Lake George for the Silver Bay Association Hotel. Took a best offer of $8 on this one. There's a blow up of the car. Just kind of a nice you know, exterior view with the mountain in the background. This is uh, posted back in 1908. So it's an early divided back. There's the front again. You have like some activities going on. I'm not sure what these people are doing, if they're playing or just hanging out. But a very pretty uh, background, very pretty looking building and nice mountain scene. All right, and now on to Ocean City, New Jersey for the seaside view. You see these things all the time. There's a linen card. You can see it's dated June 25th of 1941. Nice image there. I don't know if it looks like it's probably just an illustration. Bathing in the surf at 2nd Street Beach. Ocean City, New Jersey got $8 for that one. And then finally, I thought this was a nice looking card. 10 bucks on this one. Wildwood, this is a chrome card. The sunglasses, kind of the view through the sunglasses. Let's see, this is all the way up in uh, the 60s. So it's a much more modern car, just a typical view of sunbathers on the beach, enjoying the sun and fun at the Wildwoods. Wildwood postcard seems to do really well for me. It's a popular sea resort town in New Jersey. And this one was 10 bucks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long time coming. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment and hit that subscribe button for me. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. There'll be lots more material coming out in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.